Since it's Friday, I thought we could play everybody's favorite game, Guess Where the Blood is Hiding. If you have taken care of hypotensive trauma patients, you've played this game before, you're probably quite skilled at it. When you see that trauma patient with shock, we have to find out where that blood is going that's gonna help to guide management. And there's only really five compartments where we can lose blood into. The chest, the abdomen pelvis, the retroperitoneal space, into a long bone, and onto the street. We're gonna use a combination of our history, physical, and ultrasound to narrow down those options. If the patient has bled out into the street, you're gonna get that history from your pre-hospital providers. Our physical examination is gonna show us that the patient bled into a long bone. If you see that unilateral big swollen thigh, there's probably a fracture with a liter or two of blood in that extremity. If the blood is hiding in the chest or the abdomen pelvis, we're gonna get that information from our EFAST. That just leaves the retroperitoneal space, which is kind of a black box. We can't get that with history, we can't really get it with physical examination, and we can't get it with ultrasound, which means we have to rely on our CT scan here to give us that information. In kids, we're gonna add one other compartment. Kids can lose a significant amount of blood from head bleeds, so think about that as a sixth compartment in kids. 